Hi guys, Todd here again with TW Home Show. Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a long time since you've seen me, since the last video, and uh, I've been quite a bit busy here lately, so I figured I'd catch up with you and let you know what I've been up to, uh, what I plan in the future of the TW Home Show channel, and see if we can get back on track. You know, I've been busy since this year started with situating my father who used to live with us in the in-law suite out by the pool here at our house here in Florida. So I got him all situated in an assisted living facility. We haven't been able to go out in our RV this year. And uh, so we've been, we've had that RV, our Tiffin Open Road 36 LA for the last uh, four years since 2020. And so I figured, you know, I'm gonna catch up with you let you know what's going on. Here's the in-law suite here and I got to show something to you in here. So in the in-law suite, I have got it since I moved all my dad's stuff out with him in his little apartment. I've got this place packed. And as you can see, this is all stuff actually from our RV. All the stuff that we had in our RV, our bedding, pillows, clothes from the closet sheets and stuff like that some mattresses um all of our kitchen uh utility stuff bathroom stuff a little uh, steps toaster all kinds of stuff coffee maker and uh so this is where we're our situation right now and there's pixie hey pix hi what you doing Hi, say hi to everybody. That's Pixie. She likes to film with me sometimes. So you're probably asking Todd, what did you do with the RV? Are you just cleaning it up, reorganizing? You know, I'm gonna let you know what I have in store in just a moment. But first I wanted to show you the rest of this stuff. Here's the rest of it from all of the uh, basement storage compartments. I'm reorganizing all that stuff. And here's the golf cart that I got to keep myself busy over the last few months. And I've got this thing uh, really jam packed with lots of accessories and all kinds of stuff. I've been really happy with working on this and adding everything to this. I've got a battery indicator right there. Of course, it's got lithium in it. We've got a radio set up. Uh, with touch screen we got front and rear uh, DVR cameras we got our switch right here to turn off on all our stuff we got light bars on it underglow we got strobe lights check this out I got the strobe lights up on top you know if we're pulled over or something checking something out we can uh, let the traffic know behind us I got a light back here reverse light also uh, what else we got interior lights so you got light inside of here and you got light down here in your battery charge compartment and of course I switched over so it only it, it doesn't take a dedicated charger anymore you can have a regular 110 outlet charge it up right picks oh she had to run over here and see you got the underglow lighting there check this out It is awesome looking. And of course I lifted it as well and put wheel spacers on the back so that the tires are nice and lined up with the fender flares I installed. And actually I built this system here. I built this so you, with pins in it and the side cages so Pixie can ride back here with us. Let me put Pixie in here. So Pixie likes the setup I made for her in the golf cart. Hey Pix, you going for little car rides? We call that the little car. She likes the little car one. And she knows when I talk about the little car, she knows it's the golf cart. And then I built this other back area here. When the seat's down, Pixie can, we got these uh, safety seat belt leash attach attachments, one, two. And I put these in so Pixie could sit up with me when I drive. And then this can fold down. And Cheryl and Carly are bigger golden. They can get in here 
with this contraption I built. I'm gonna pull this pin here. There's your entry and Carly can get in there and Cheryl would be able to sit on the back seat once that's flipped down and Pixie's up front with me. And this is just on a hinge here. And you can lock it back into place like that. Pixie, can you see me? Oh, there you are. There you are. Say hi. There's Pixie. Yeah, in your, in your little car. That's perfect for Pixie. Yeah, you could go for little car rides in this, right? Yeah, that's nice. So guys, I guess the story here today is, yes, we did sell our RV. And now I did think about it and talked with my wife for several months, you know, during our downtime this year, and we haven't been out in the RV at all yet. And in the last year I had the oil changed, transmission flush, uh, all kinds of stuff to get it ready. New brakes all the way around on it and put it in storage. So it was all fixed up and we had it all set up to go this year and then we had the situation with my dad happen and like I said this has been preoccupying me right now and I got that all set up and complete and yep uh, I discussed maybe we could buy a trailer because I was like man now I got this I want to take this everywhere we go RV I could buy a trailer uh, haul it you know tow it on the back of our RV and you know get this out at campgrounds and uh, state parks and stuff like that and have some fun around the park with uh, the doggies as well another activity for us and uh, I looked and looked and looked and then I discussed it with my wife uh, what are we gonna do but anyway as you can tell here with everything uh, taken out the RV is sold we sold our RV stay tuned I'll tell you more Welcome back to the channel and I would like to reveal a new item to TW Home Show and RV Adventures Todd's World. Our new RV. This is our new RV that we, uh, we traded in our old one and they've already sold it already since I had lithium already installed in it and solar panels on our old RV. Uh, they sold it quick like that within a week. And this is our Thor Outlaw 38 MB. I've got it all set up here for you to see today. And I've been uh, doing some work on it. I got lots of stuff to do, as you can see, with all the stuff that we had in the other in-law suite and the garage here. I'm getting it all organized so I can get this set up nice and neat. I know after four years of traveling and RVing, I know all the stuff that we need, all the stuff that we used, and all the stuff that we didn't use, so we can kind of shrink this down a bit. But here it is. Let me turn you around. Here it is, it's a uh, 2021 Thor Outlaw 38 MB. And this is the one with the, uh, I don't know if it's glacier blue or, or what it is. It's got uh, the gray, black, silver, and blue stripes on it. It's got one whole long wall side uh, slide out on the driver's side there. It's got two rooftop air conditioners and one side air conditioner for the toy hauler part and we call it the garage back there. So we will be able to take our golf cart that have got all fixed up this year and that's gonna give us a whole nother activity to do 
on our outings. It's got two separate awnings here and actually two door entrances. And I want to show you, this is the 2021 Ford F53 chassis and it's the uh, 7.3 liter V8 gasoline engine. So it's gasoline, uh, front mounted gasoline engine. Um, right here, we do have, you know, the patio campground site TV on the outside with the speaker bar right there. Does have onboard propane. There's a fresh water tank there as well. This is a uh, hot water heater, on demand hot water heater system. Storage goes all the way back there. This is a wide body storage area right here. And this is your batteries. Right now it's got acid batteries. I'm gonna swap these out. I've already got new batteries. I've got four 200 amp hour lithium batteries in here or that I'm going to put in here. So that's something I have to do before our first outing. Look at this monster bay here. This is the biggest storage bay right here and it goes all the way back it's got a ladder i think this is a, a bunk bed ladder right here that stores here and we're not going to use the bunk bed so i think uh i might see if our extended ladder could fit in there it does have built-in lighting in the storage areas and i'm not sure how these work yet this one doesn't have a rocker switch on it so i gotta figure that out there must be a maybe a light switch inside and I like this newer RV it's got newer electronics on it touch screens to control everything here's another storage area and one other smaller one at the back they all have the uh, the struts on them and then right here I like this it's a quick connect Propane, you know, I added this to our last RV. It didn't have the quick connect system for propane. Now it's built in with its own door. And guys, uh, I hope you're patient enough. This is just a walkthrough. I really want this walkthrough for my records as well because uh, I want to have this as a before so I have it in photos and video of before I do anything to this RV. And you're getting an exclusive look at our before walkthrough. There's the rear awning. And from what I understand, they do have rain sensors on the awnings or wind sensors. So they will automatically retract in the wind. And this huge back door here, yeah, that's a door that comes down and that's a ramp so we can put our golf cart in and out when we get to the site. And then after we get the golf cart out, this can stay down as a patio deck and it's got fence that rolls out to enclose the patio deck. So the dogs can walk right out here to the patio deck, lift it off the ground. If it's rainy or whatever at your site, you've always got a dry area. You could still come outside. And it does have a uh, extendable awning on the back as well. I'll go down this side real quick. This is an unleaded fuel compartment you can fill up for your own fuel pump. You believe that, guys? Your own fuel pump system in here. Now, that's if you had like some uh, motorcycles or whatever you're taking with you, quads or whatever that's gasoline, you can do that. Here's the uh, fuel pump gauge for the rear fuel and switch to turn that fuel pump on. Next bay we got here is the sewer bay. And I gotta take all these. This is from the original owner. I've got a whole brand new set. So I'm gonna take all this out, probably uh, trash that so I can start new. This is the fuel door for the main coach. And I believe it's probably 90 gallons of fuel it can hold. Storage compartment. This is the uh, storage and power. So that's where your uh, 50 amp power plugs in and it's got a little uh, hole it can go through with a lid on it. And I got it plugged into our garage at the moment. 
I actually got it plugged into one of our Tesla plugs in the garage. So it's got full power to it now. And this is another, that's the other side of this huge bay with the ladder right there. That's the largest storage bay on both sides of that. And then right here is our uh, plumbing compartment. We got an in-house filter. We got the low point drain there. We've got a sewer tank flush where you can connect the hose there. Right there is a switch for the side light. It's got one a side light up on top of the uh, side of this driver's side of the coach where if you pull in the dark, you can have that while you're setting up all your hoses and everything. There's your water controls right there for fresh water. There's your dump system right there. Black and gray dump come out in a Y there. And you can open up that lid there and run your sewer hose down through there. Your water pump is back there. And you've got an outdoor shower or cleaning head right here. And another light there without a switch on it. So I gotta figure out, I think there might be motion detection, but it must not be turned on. So it's lots of new stuff I have to learn here. There's your uh, inverter. That's a 2000 watt inverter right there. That will be swapped out probably over this next year when I uh, you know, get the solar up on the top of the roof and everything. I wanna get this rewired so it can operate exclusively on lithium batteries if we want. This is your Onan generator on board. 5500, works well. And the last compartment here is your hydraulics for your leveling. Now, uh, I believe all the slides are the Schwintech electric, which I think I kind of like that. And just the levelers are using this hydraulic system and pump. That's it. I already installed yesterday the tire monitor system. So I got all the sensors on all the tires already. So we can play it safe rolling down the road with this big, big, big RV. Now I installed the safety steer mechanism to help with the steering up underneath the front here. Let's see if we can get a shot of it. All right, I see it back here. So the safety steer, whoops, get you up there to see that. That's like a, uh, a shock stabilizer. Might be able to see it better from this angle here. Right there, safety steer, steering stabilizer. That's a must have. Also, I installed Sumo springs on the front. These made the best difference. Sumo springs on the front. If you want to add them to the rear, you can as well. I put them to the front on both fronts. And I added Coney shocks. The gold Coney shocks all the way around, front and rear. Sumo springs right there. Coney shocks right there. One other thing I added was to the rear, to make a difference on the rear, especially if we're gonna be hauling toys and stuff like the golf cart, I added the rear track bar. I believe that's what it's called. And you can find that on the Safety Steer website as well. Let me get under and show you. All right. Okay, that's way up there. Let's see. Okay, there's the Coney shocks on the rear. And if you see that blue item up there, that's the rear track bar that stabilizes your rear differential. And this thing doesn't wobble nearly as much anymore.
So that's it as far as suspension upgrades, those are must have. So that's exciting so far, right? Let me give you a tour of the inside while it's empty. Here's your entryway. And I do have the air conditioners on now because it's a hot one in Florida today. So here is your cockpit. The newer upgraded steering wheel from the Ford F53 chassis. You got a radio touch screen there. No Android, so I'll probably swap that out. Here's the tire pressure monitor, solar charge. So I never have to plug this in. It's on this little pad that comes with it. Sticky bat pad right there. So I can relocate this to the sun, you know, to keep it charged up. Usually I'll like, um, this is the same style I got on our original rig. Usually I'll put it up behind there and then it stays charged in the sun. Of course, this is, this would be Cheryl's chair right here. And she sometimes works on the road. So you do have this laptop station right there. Makes it easy to work on the road. Now, if we turn around here, here it is. Now all the slides are out. This whole entire wall is slid out. Nothing here is slid out but the back bedroom does slide out. So I did get this footstool here, it's pretty nice. Bought it on Amazon, it's got storage in there and it can actually fold up flat. Since there's no recliners, uh, which we were used to on our 2014 Tiffin, but this is a jackknife. So I'll show you how that works too. But first let's get some lighting in here. And this is one of my favorite features here, is it's all electronic. So we're gonna go ahead to see here's lights. You got the, the air conditioners, turn them up a bit while we're in here. Go to lights, living room, hall, dinette, bed, garage, do vanity, bath. There we go, bath vanity. Okay, now we've got some light. So there's a the view here from the kitchenette. This is a residential, full-size resi residential fridge. Got a built-in driving lock on there to keep the doors secure. Uh, nice size for just me and Cheryl and the doggies. No ice maker, but we can uh, go back to the ice trays if we need ice. This is not only microwave oven, but convection oven. You got an induction. Uh, top part and also propane gas half side and I just got these and got these hooked up last night these are magnetic I put some magnetic steel plates 3m sticky tape and these can be removed this is where I figure we'll put our spices and also up here they stick really well to this uh, microwave convection oven so I figure if they don't hold up I think they will they're really really strong magnets on here I can almost hang I can hang my whole arm weight on here it's not budging so we can put spices and stuff in here since on our 2014, we had a, a cabinet we used for spices. This one, we're a little bit low on cabinet space. I got us a new dish set. So that's all unpacked there. And of course you got the double sink. I got us a sink wash strainer right there, already installed. And the other half. And uh, water's off right now currently. So you got these, this is where we'll probably do our pots and pans. And notice this, look, this is something that I would install here, this under countertop lighting right there. And that's built in on this model 2021. So you turn them off right there, that's cool. Of course, you got all your drawers here, some cabinet space here. That's all the cleaning stuff. I cleaned this uh, whole rig from front to rear yesterday. So all surfaces, leather cleaner, everything has been done. Let me show you how this uh, jackknife couch works and stuff. Okay, so the you got a bed up here. This is a, a double bunk bed as well. And this can drop down. It's motorized, controlled by the control panel on the side there. It's got two pins, locking pins, that stay in there while you're uh, driving. So no mishaps. This 
dinette also there's a lever down here and you can push this down and put the paddings down over here this goes all the way down and this becomes a little day bed or bed area if you want and we can relatch that and move the footstool out of the way this is a jackknife bed setup so you pull this out and I don't know how to tell you but these outlaw leather seating areas even the front and passenger seat ah oh, the leather and the padding is just so soft and rewarding to sit down on very nice I got to hand it to them Thor and the outlaw they came through with the seating surfaces and it easily you know can fold back like that there's the bunk bed that you can power down and you can hook a ladder that we saw in the storage compartment right there so we do have some more storage over here Right here, I think, is where I'll put all the electronics. I'm hoping there's access to the roof through this panel right here. And I can run my wires for the router, cellular router and antenna and Starlink up through there. Because I do have like your HDMI switch for all the TVs. And actually, this is a DVD player, believe it or not. So that's probably where electronics will be in that compartment right there. And then we've got more. This would be like probably for a pantry item stuff here. Now I am thinking about adding a 9 inch cabinet all the way across here, 9 inch down, 72 inches wide, and put the lights underneath of that because we were used to more cabinets. And as we go in here to the, uh, the bathroom, a lot of nice cabinetry in here. So between me and Cheryl, we should have lots of storage for both of us. Got our trash can on top of there right now. And then you've got, of course, your shower here. And right here, it gets really, really high because how this toy hauler is built. And you got your hot water control right here on demand. And then you come back to the bedroom. Of course, you could shut this off with the doors here. We probably will, never will do that with just us and our doggies. But I like how when they're, it's open, this seems more open, this whole hallway. The KB we looked at, the model KB Outlaw, was a little different. It got a little, real cramped in through here until you got to the bedroom and back. But this, with the whole wall on the MB, 38 MB model, I like how uh, once you open this slide, it looks like you've got you know all the way back open, which keeps this bedroom very open. And we got a TV right here or your bed area with some storage behind there. Got a little uh, tabletop there and of course your drawers and a nice size hanging area right here for your hanging clothes. And that's where that, that table there and that post, that can mount in between the two, the driver and passenger seat and we could eat lunch there if we want to with that table set up. And then your normal storage above here, this is slid out right now, and this is a queen bed. Does have some storage under here. Pull up there, there's some struts. And right now I got a vacuum cleaner we purchased. I'm gonna keep that under there. So the bed does come up with a little bit of storage area underneath there. And then look at this, guys. Who in the world has a sliding glass door in their RV? A residential sliding glass door in the RV. So this leads out to your garage space. And uh, once you get the golf cart or your motorcycles out, then this becomes like a little great room. Of course, you've got, if you want to make that private, you've got your controls right here. We can close, say, our blind, for instance. So if somebody wanted to sleep back there in the garage and you want to sleep up here, you can make that private at night just by pressing a button.
Very nice. Now, here's the garage. It's got a step down here and you've got all the space here. These are glass and screen doors right here, patio doors, so that remember when you put this ramp down, you could leave it out as a patio and then you could have these screens, set up as screens or block them off and just, you know, regular doors going out to your patio here. Down here is the foldable uh, net fencing that goes around the patio when the patio is down. It's already got that built in and it stores right there, real nice. And as you come around here, you got windows on each side. You've got your TV set that looks like about a 40 inch and you've got a third air conditioner back here with remote control and that does very well. I can keep these open over the last couple days. I've kept it open with all the ACs on and it's comfortable from the front to the back all the time. You've got an entertainment system right there if you want to play some music. And you also have a separate door right here. So you've got two doors, which is handy. Of course, these can fold as well. These uh, are already folded to the couch, but you could fold both of these down and then make a bed out of this. Or you can drop down this other queen bed that's up here. That will lower down to about halfway to where the window, bottom of the windows are. So, I don't know. My plan is to have this one as a couch because it looks up at this TV. And this one, I'm gonna remove this couch bench and put a tabletop on it. And that's gonna be our work office area. I'll set up a dual work office area. So me and Cheryl can work at, out here at the same time or one time and uh, that's my plan. So I'm gonna fold this back into a couch here. Just rolls right over and you got the couch again. So this step here, this is not a step, but a, it's a step well cover. So if we need that floor space when we pull the golf cart in, you can do that. And if you need more floor space, you can always, uh, let's see, there's a step right here, inside step. If I press that button, motorized step goes in. If I press it again, it comes out. So that's handy to have. This is a little, uh, it's meant for like, you know, when you have gasoline vehicles back here, you can keep some chemicals and sprays and lubricants, extra oil, stuff like that if you need it. So it's kind of, it's made out of stainless steel to make it durable. But I think in the near future, probably not till next year, we're gonna put a washer dryer combo right in this corner here. And I'll probably remove that. So that's part of the plan. It's pretty lengthy. Of course, you got all that storage up here too, behind the netting. So that will help with their lack of cabinets up in, around the kitchen area. That will help, like if we have a crock pot out we're not using, put it up there. Any extra kitchen utilities, we can store them up out here out of the way. You know, the, the things you only use maybe once a week or something like that. You don't need instant access to it. We can store it up here easily and free up space up there. So guys, that's it. You got the first tour before we put anything in our new RV. And I'm glad I got that on record so I can look back at that if I need to see something before and after in the future because you know there's going to be a lot of afters coming when I start doing my stuff to this thing and I'm trying not to I'm going to try not to clutter it up but only make you know necessary improvements that uh, everyone would think would be an improvement and not just like why did you do it for that gadget so I've learned my lesson after four years with our first rig and uh I'm excited now about this one, getting into this and getting it all set up for our maiden voyage. So I figure I'll have it here. I'm not gonna do the solar on it, not till the fall, till it cools off. So I don't need that once I put that, uh, the four 200 amp hour, so I'll have 400 amp hours, no, 800 amp hours of battery, lithium battery in here. That's gonna be plenty of power along with our generator that's working dependably now. 
So I'm gonna get all that set up and done in the next two weeks and probably we'll head off on our maiden voyage with all three puppy dogs. Help us all when we take the three puppies with us. We usually only take two. Since my dad is away now, we gotta take his dog too. So we got three puppy dogs in this RV, but we got the extra room back there in the garage. So should be, uh, that should be handy for extra puppy dogs. Thank you for tuning in to another one of my videos. And guys, I'll see you on the next one. Oh wait, by the way, I also wanted to remind you, if you see me out and about in the summer, spring, summer, or fall times, and you notice there's nothing coming up on TW Home Show that you've subscribed to, I need you to go and subscribe to RV Adventures Todd's World YouTube channel as well. Because if it relates mostly to if it relates mostly to RV or traveling and stuff like that, it's gonna be on RV Adventures Todd's World channel. You know, it's still gonna be me and my family or whatever, but it's gonna be on that channel and not TW Home Show. For the first few ones now I've done I'm going to put them on both channels, but I'm hoping to separate the content to make it, you know, more enjoyable to you. So if you don't want to know nothing about RV or what I'm doing when I'm on the road RVing and you don't want to see that kind of stuff, I'll keep it separate on RV Adventures channel. And then if you uh, want to see just the TW Home Show stuff, I'll put that on Todd's World Home Show channel. Keep that all the, you know, products and reviews and uh, projects I do, I'll put on that channel. They may both come together sometimes, and I'll put them on both channels. But just so you know, go search out now. I'll leave a link in the video description of RV Adventures Todd's World YouTube channel in the video description below. Make sure you go subscribe to there too to get double the content from me. Thanks again. I'll see you on the next one.